Hi, I'm Helen and I'm the owner of Scallywag's Pep Shop. We're down at 49 West End in Kirby Moorside. Great. Helen, I think uh, it would be really good if we just do a walk around the shop, if that's okay, because it will just give people a really good idea of the range of products. And I've just walked around it and there's a lot more here than I thought. So where do you want to start off? We'll uh, start off down that end with our dried dog food section and um, show you what kind of brands that we do. Okay, let's do that. It's quite a big shop, isn't it? Yeah, there's quite a, like, quite a, lot, quite a lot of space to fill. So this is our Burns range. This is one of our big selling ranges of dried dog food. It's one of the premium ranges of dog food. This is what I feed my dog Stella on, um, so I have testament to its, its goodness. Now we would have Stella here today, but unfortunately she's, she's at the She's having vets. an operation today, so, but she's, she's fine. She'll be back on her feet, so Good, she'll be back a, in the shop soon. It's a lovely aspect of the <laughs> shop, actually, when you come in and you know, there's Stella jumping up and oh, yes. wanting a fuss. And yeah, so. she's chief meter and greeter, is Stella. So, yeah, brilliant. Yeah, everybody loves her. <laughs> now, what's special about the Burns food, then? Because it has a special kind of, uh, you know, special kind of properties, doesn't it? Or... Yeah, it's a hypoallergenic food. It's a complete food. Um, it's actually cereal free. It's a rice based diet, um, which means that more of it is absorbed by the dog's digestive system. Right. So you actually have to feed less than you would a cereal based diet. And because more of it's used and absorbed by the dog, you get less out the other end, which is quite nice too. <laughs> so I know you do sell pooper scoopers. So that, oh, yes. you know, <laughs> excellent. So, but actually, I mean, it is a sort of um, a product that's slightly more expensive. But what you're saying is that you l use less, so that actually, it pr and, and it's obviously very good quality. So it actually wouldn't cost you that much extra. No, when you work it out price per day, it actually works out not as expensive. It's a big outlay at first, but a big bag will actually last you longer in the long term. And there's a huge variety here of different types, obviously to suit you know different dogs, older dogs, younger dogs, working dogs, etc. Yep, the good thing with Burns is that all of the adult foods are good for adult dogs and senior dogs. So there's a good range of different flavours, so some dogs can get bored of the same flavour. So you can swap and change from bag to bag of the different flavours. We've got chicken, lamb, fish, there's venison and there's duck. And then there's also a high oats, which is good for dogs who are slightly overweight to help bring their weight a little bit down. So it's almost like a diet, diet food for dogs. Now, so, so put me right on this. I always thought that when you have a dog on a certain food, that they actually kind of have to stick to that food because of their kind of digestive system. The body kind of gets used to it. But you're saying mix it up. It's just like humans. We like variety. Yeah, especially within the brand, changing flavors isn't too much of a problem. You might right. find some dogs aren't too good with richer protein sources, things like your lamb, your duck and your venison, they're kind of a rich protein, um, but apart from that, if they've got a good digestive system and they're okay with it, then you can feed any flavour, I mean I swap Stella from fish to duck to right. lamb to chicken, just to give her a variety so that she doesn't get bored, because sometimes dogs will go off a of food just because they're bored of it. Right, so that's really tend good to find advice. A change of, flavour might just be enough to get the meeting again. Right, well you're offering me advice here which I didn't know about, so if people can come into the shop here in Scallywags and get some good advice from you if, they're, if you're having a particular problem with feeding their dogs, yeah? Yeah, we're certainly happy to help anybody with advice. If they're getting a new puppy, we can help them set them up with a new puppy. If the dog's needing to go on a diet, buy advice from the vet, then we can help advise you on that, of what foods to go for with that. If you've got a working dog, what kind of foods to feed a working dog or if your dog's getting fussy then we sort of have some tricks up our sleeves for that as well. Oh right okay so <laughs> they can actually bring the dog into the shop as well and sort of Absolutely. what happens if you see a rather obese looking dog coming into the shop would you ever be brave enough to say mm, you know, maybe you need to think about that it's quite difficult isn't it? It's actually usually the owner that will be the first to say oh I know my dog's carrying a bit of extra right. weight so then you can sort of say, well, there is something that we could look at in that, and you can just then advise them. Sometimes it is just purely a case of cutting back on the amount of food. Some dogs are very greedy, yeah. and you just kind of keep feeding them because you feel guilty. Yeah, um, but yeah. Uh, it's sort of a bad thing to do. And you've got some trial uh, packets here as well, I see, so that you can have a, you know, without having to fork out too much money, you can try different things. Yeah, absolutely. And also you can then test a flavour with the dog as well. So if you're feeding chicken and you wonder, oh, I wonder whether the dog will be okay with lamb, you can just take a trial sample, which is like a meal, and just try it. And then obviously if the dog's fine with it, you can come back then and get a bag for them.
Fantastic. Where should we go to next in the shop? Uh, well, I'll show you just around the uh, other dry foods that we okay. do for dogs. So we do all sorts. We do quite a range of working dog foods. Your Dr. John, Field and Trial, Super Dog Active. The massive packs here, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Bulk buy. Um, your Super Dog, which obviously is pickering based, so it's a nice local company. So we like to support them. Yep. As well as WAG, which is a Thirsk based company. So again, like to support the locals. Um, your Baker's Range which is quite a popular one, quite a lot of people feed their dog on bakers now. Um, I Am's, which people will have heard of you, Canuba. this is their partner company. Um, and what's particular about I Am's, is there anything that's specific to them? Or? Um, it's kind of a middle ground for people, people who don't want to go on to premium brands such as your James Well Beloved and your Burns. I Am's is a nice middle ground um, and it's, it's not as expensive as those brands but it's still a very, very good quality food. Right, okay. So you were talking about tidbits for dogs and maybe oh, them yes. having too many, but if the dog's <laughs> diet and exercise are under control here, you have a huge range. Yeah, we, we keep trying to change, you know, and bring in new treats and things, again, to give dogs a bit of a variety and try and um, work with people for those who have got slightly overweight dogs, but they still want to give that little treat. Mm. So we try and get some, like, low-protein treats, healthy treats, as well as your good old good treats like we like to spoil ourselves as well so we've got all of our biscuit ranges which we bag down into into our own sized bags um, the raw hide section which tends to be very very popular we sell a lot of raw hide treats because uh, the dogs tend to be able to get their teeth stuck in, gives them something to do for a while, keeps them quiet, but they get enjoyable. And it's good for dental health care as well, isn't Absolutely, it? Absolutely, yeah. Very good for the teeth and the gums. So it keeps the teeth nice and clean. Yeah, nice brilliant. Nice, healthy way of doing it. Okay, so we've covered the dogs. What about cat owners? Cat owners, we do a range of dried food and wet food for cats. We do, this is our wet food section for the cats. We've got whiskers, Felix. Um, Duchess, High Life, Sheba, um, and also a range of treats for them as well. The Dreamies are really popular at the moment. Um, they've been on TV and now that people have tried them, they're coming back for more because it is a bit like the advert, cats do go crazy for them. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, we keep trying to bring in new um, varieties as well. Uh, we're now stocking the bite and chew of whiskers, which people might have seen on the TV as well. We just like to sort of give people a variety and a choice for their cats, because cats can be very fussy with what they eat. Right. So they very often do need to change what they're feeding regularly just to keep the cat eating. Right, okay, that's fine. Right, where should we go to now? Because it's not only cats and dogs. But... No, we uh, certainly like to cater for the small animals and also wild birds, because people do like to feed their birds. So we try and keep a good range of wild bird foods. Um, we've got sort of your basic seed feeds, um, economy seeds, and then... Uh, classed as no mess feeds which are husk free and wheat free because a lot of birds won't eat wheat uh, your pigeons and your pheasants and things do but your smaller birds don't tend to eat the wheat so people like to feed a wheat free so you don't get all the growth in your lawn um, now that's interesting because we've got a huge amount of growth happening underneath our bird feeder uh -huh. <laughs> and so again you know just you're a really good source of advice on on, on bird food as well yeah we, we well, i mean i like to feed my birds so i sort of uh, I know, I know what birds like what, so yeah. you can sort of advise if people have specific birds in their garden, then you can advise as to, uh, as to what the best food to feed them is. And in terms of, you know, now the weather's warming up, is it still important to feed them, do you reckon? Absolutely, because now the birds are using so much energy to build their nests, and obviously the female birds are, are forming eggs, so they need the energy to form the little baby eggs, and obviously then when they're actually back and forth feeding their babies, they need a huge amount of energy just to keep themselves going in order to be able to feed their babies. Right. And so not only the food, but you've got the uh, dispensers as well. Yep, all the feeders. Again, we try and keep a fair range of feeders from varying price ranges. Um, you know, we have sort of like your metal framed feeders, which obviously is good if you've got a squirrel problem. Um, or you've got oh, your sort right. of your plastic feeders, which is like the starting level if you just want to pop some seed in your garden to see what you attract. Um, and then we've got peanut feeders, 
Niger seed feeders. Niger seeds becoming popular now with goldfinches, uh, attracting them into the garden. Um, suet, again, suet blocks, balls, suet pellets. It's sort of a never-ending yeah. list of what you can actually put out for the birds now. There's a huge, huge variety. Um, and we've also got nest boxes, because obviously now is the time that the birds are looking for homes for their Yeah, there's babies. some beauties here. We'll just so focus in on that, because uh, they're really nice. We've just tried to get a few different nest boxes for people to put up and uh, attract them in. Yep, great. Okay, so let's go down here. And uh, you've got some hutches here as well. Yeah, we've just started getting more hutches and runs in now because now's the time that people are getting their rabbits and guinea pigs out in the garden, out in the fresh air and onto the grass. So obviously a good run on the grass is, is important so that they're nicely safe, but obviously they can enjoy this lovely weather that we're yeah, having. Yeah, fantastic. So yeah, we're just uh, starting to stock up now on all those kind of accessories for people. Okay, well let's go around here because <clears> the shop extends all around here as well. So we've got some small animal things, um, bedding, toys, um, your bottles, your grooming products. Um, again, we're just getting more and more things in for the small animals because now's the time that people are, are starting to get them out of out of hibernation, as it were. <laughs> and this is the kind of stuff that you can't buy on the market on a Wednesday, isn't it? It's very, no. very specific stuff yeah. that you have yeah. for pets and... And so we're here six days a week and we also we get deliveries three three deliveries a week and we're extremely happy if there is anything we don't have that our wholesalers stock we'll order it in for you absolutely no problem at all and like i say we get three deliveries a week so we can usually get it fairly quickly as long as it's in stock with our wholesaler brilliant and is it what's your opening hours um monday to wednesday and friday we're open 9 a.m till 5 p.m and Thursday and Saturday we're open 9 till 1 p.m. Right, okay. And then around here we've got some very luxurious beds. <laughs> yeah, for spoiling our, our Oh, dogs look and at cats. this one. Absolutely. Is that the yeah. top of the A little, little bit of fur lined there. Oh. <laughs> Gorgeous. Keep the cats warm in the winter and give them somewhere snug to hide away in the summer. And obviously um, all your carriers yep. and cages for your puppies. Um, and yeah, a fair range of beds. Fantastic. Oh, so let's go and have a look for the last thing, because it's also great for sort of presents, isn't it? Because you sell sort of toys and things. So if you're looking for a, a present for a pet, or yep. someone who has a pet, <laughs> um, then you've got some fun stuff. Yeah, here, we've you? got some toys to keep your cats amused, um, things for them to chase, things for you to play with, with them on on poles and things and obviously the scratch post to stop them scratching your furniture. I mean it is really important that animals have things to play with isn't it? Yeah because absolutely. they do it's, get bored don't they? Yeah and it's like a child you, you know you give your kids things to play with and animals are just the same they need something to occupy their mind. Yeah. Um, if you're out then you know they need something to do and also it's a great way for you to bond with your pet is to play with them and yeah. it encourages that bond. Yeah absolutely. Now what on earth is this, <laughs> which has just caught my eye here. It's described as roadkill squirrel with speaker inside. Now, what is that? Yeah, Ellen? this is, um, yeah, this is the sort of a bit of sick humour, I suppose. Yes, with its uh, tyre mark across its belly. Oh, the poor, poor squirrel thing. and the poor rat got it. Well, no, no animal was hurt in the making of these Absolutely toys. Absolutely not. <laughs> But yeah, these have been very popular, the, like the fox and the mallard and the squirrel and things. Right. Um, pets tend to like soft toys. They like yeah. to carry them around and uh, they, yes, they can throw them and things like that. So yeah. But again, we try and mix the toys up. We're trying to keep a, a variety coming in so you're not sort of seeing the same toys all the time. So we're always trying to change what we've got so that your pet can have something new to play with. That's absolutely brilliant. Now, on the town blog, you're going to be posting regular information, aren't you, um, about what's happening in the shop and new products and so on, so we'll look forward to that. Yeah, absolutely. We're planning on doing some special offers this year, so as they come along, then we'll get those advertised and you can treat your pet. Great. Thanks so much, Helen. Thank you.